Hello everyone, welcome to the 8085 SME language programming. Today we will be doing some instructions. The first one is uh, LDAXB, LDAXD. This both come under the category of LDAX uh, and we only have two instructions which LDAX that is LDAXB and LDAXD. There is no other instruction with respect to LDAX apart from these two. Now the full form of this is load accumulator indirect. Load accumulator indirect. So this is a one byte instruction. It stores the data from the memory location to register A. So in this particular instruction the data from the memory location is stored in register A. And because there are many memory location. So which memory location? So in this case the memory location is specified by either the BC or the D register pair. So if we write LDAXB then the data uh, which is in memory location which is pointed by BC is transferred to A and we write LDAXD then the data which is in mem which is pointed by DE register pair okay that becomes a memory pointed it is stored in register A in this case no flags are affected then uh, apart from this we also study this instruction this two instruction that is STAX B and STAX D so with respect to STAX there are only two instructions STAX B and STAX D the full form is store accumulator indirect now this is a one byte instruction it stores the data from register A to the memory location okay, this is the opposite of LDAX and the memory location of course in this case also specified by the BC or D register pair okay, and in case in this case no flags are affected now let us see one animation so that we can understand it properly so now we consider one example uh, before starting with this uh, we have some data already in the memory location. We assume this is already there. So 8040 it contains B9, 80415C, 80424F and these are data which are already stored in the memory locations. Now we consider a few instructions. Uh, these are the four instructions we will consider to study this LDAXB and STAXD. With the first instruction LXIB 8040, 80 gets stored in register B and 40 in C. With LXID 8042, 80 gets stored in D and 42 in register E. Now with LDAXB, so what this LDAXB means? LDAXB means uh, transfer the data from memory to register A. Now which memory? Which is pointed by B and C. So B and C they contain 8040 and here we can see 8040 contains B9. So this B9 will be stored in register A. So with this as we can see the B9 it gets stored in register A. Now with STAXD, uh, so STAXD says that uh, transfer the data from register A to memory location. Now because it is D STAXD, so the memory pointer which is point with memory which is pointed by D and E. Now D E contains 8042 combined. So this 8042 already has 4F. So the data B in this location 8042. As you can see. So this gets stored in 8042. So in this case this is actually an uh, indirect way of storing the data and in this case when we consider LDAXB the destination is register A and with STAXD the source is A and uh, only A register can access this B and D pointer. So that's all for this particular session. Thanks for watching.